Most days, my house is a zoo. My house is never 100% neat. Cleaning is always a process. The word mom is used constantly. Let me be more specific. A thousand times or better. Do I regret my kids? Absolutely. Hey Simply and welcome back to another video. Today I feel like we need to have a sit down. We need to have a discussion. We need to have a whole chit chat about how amazing we are. How courageous we are. How selfless we are. How motivated we are. In this video, I wanted to come to you guys today and talk about all the struggles that us moms go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether you have one child or whether you have six children. By no means am I excluding any of the amazing fathers out there that do the damn thing. Can we just get an amen because there's some fathers that do it. They are killing the game raising their kids. So this video is not just for women, but I wanted to focus more on us women because I know that we're more sensitive and we take stress on a little bit more harder than men do. We worry warts. We worry about a lot of things. We always put a lot of pressure on ourselves. So I feel like this video is definitely needed. And I hope by the end of this video, you're starting to feel a little bit better, starting to feel a little lighter. If you're new to my channel and you don't really know too much about me, I have three beautiful children and they are my best friends. They take up most of my time, okay? It's really hard to juggle having three kids and remaining sane at the same time. What do I mean by that? Children are very needy and they require a lot of your time and you need to have a lot of patience and so on and so forth. Yes, we get that. But how do you deal with children and still have time for yourself is what I want to talk about because a lot of times when we have children we lose sight of the things that once made us happy we lose sight of ourselves and we don't have much to give depression starts kicking in our appearance starts changing we start rocking sweats we start rocking t-shirts hair is in a bun and that was me and I, it's crazy I have a bun today but I found that over the time of putting all of my love and dedication into my kids that's all I started to know I forgot about the things that made me happy once upon a time. I forgot about putting on my cute dress and putting on my makeup and really feeling good. It can be hard sometimes when you are a parent, especially when you're a single parent. Most days, I don't even look like this. Most days, I look a mess. Most days, all I want to do is sleep. Most days, all I want to do is hide. I don't know if you guys can relate, but when it's hectic, the kids are screaming, the baby's crying, you got to cook dinner, you got to do this, you got to wash clothes. All you want to do is just go in your room and lock the door. Like, I feel like it's so important to keep your sanity if you go insane and you're overwhelmed with all of these tasks that you have to do you will literally lose your mind and I'm talking only from experience because I had my first daughter it was kind of like a walk in the park I feel like the first baby is always the best baby now, I don't want to say the best baby I feel like the first baby is always kind of like a smooth walk in the park you know they don't really cry too much they sleep my first daughter Lyric she was amazing okay she was amazing decide that you want another baby the middle child that's when stuff started getting real that's when stress started to really kick in because I had to juggle from giving my first daughter all of my attention to now there's a new baby so now I have to kind of like share the love and balance it out so that my first daughter didn't feel away my second child she suffered with colic and I don't know if any of you mothers have experienced that but Jesus take the wheel mm, mm, mm. I'm not even a drinker but Lord knows if I was that Chardonnay and the Moscato and everything else would have been loaded on my shelf. My child, my second daughter Mia, she cried for six months straight due to gas, okay? No matter what we did, no matter what shows we did, no matter what soothing techniques we did, we bought every gas freaking liquid there was in the store for her to help and soothe her belly. It was a mess, okay? Now I'm ripping and running. I have two kids. I'm, I have to take this one to dance class. This one is sick. This one needs help with this. This one's crying. And it started getting crazy. But I was fortunate enough to be blessed with a wonderful husband who definitely takes the load off on me. But at the end of the day, us mothers, we are more of the nurturers. We kind of are more hands-on with the children. So I feel like as far as the hair is concerned, the clothes, 
I do most of the cooking, you know, it felt heavier on me. So that's when I noticed in a change in my energy level, started to feel more fatigued, started to lose more interest, didn't really care about doing the things that I used to do before. A few years later, my last child, I mean, that's what God said was going to be for me. That wasn't really in my, my plan, but I'm never going to question God because he doesn't make mistakes. Now I'm like, okay, I have both of the girls, 10 and 6 at the time, and now we're about to have a newborn baby. How am I going to give them all of my love at one time? Time, and how am I gonna find time for me but that's that wasn't an issue then I was just worrying about my kids my kids or everything and then when the baby came he had colic too oh two of the three God. of the kids had colic and then I just kind of lost it and I kind of went through a postpartum depression phase with my son that lasted quite some time so I was juggling taking care of them and juggling with my mental illness at the same time trying to get in trying to snap out of it because I knew that it wasn't me at the time. I put more pressure on myself because I knew that I couldn't control it and I wanted to just make it go away. Then after a while, it started to catch up on me. I was ripping, I was running, I wasn't eating that much. I was always worrying about the happiness of my children. Anything that they needed or wanted, I was just there on command. Like, just, just because I want to make sure that I give them everything that they deserve. Not only just materialistic things, but instill things into them. So my focus was my kids. When I had my kids, I knew that the partying and the clubbing and the things that I used to do coming and going was going to slow down, but I didn't think it was going to come to a complete stop for me. I just went in with, this is what I'm going to do. This is, this is my responsibility. These are my kids. I'm going to hold it down regardless. Like I'm not looking for any handouts or anybody to help raise my kids. And it started to take a toll on my body and I didn't like it. Physically, I started, like I said, I started to not feel so well and I started suffering with digestive issues because a lot of my stress a lot of my struggles I was suppressing and it was just sitting in my gut and then turned into me having anxiety and panic attacks. I'm not saying this is blame my kids for the way that I have become. I chose this path. It's how I decided to handle it. It's how I took all of the stress and all of the things I needed to do. So I say that to say, if you have a handful of stuff to do and your plate is full, you need to find time for yourself. The kids come first. But so does mommy, so does daddy. If you are not sane, you are not happy and your mindset is all over the place, how are you going to distribute and how are you gonna show your kids the, the best side of you if you're not happy? I don't care what it is, if it's five minutes out of your day, tell your kids, mommy needs to take a break or mommy's just gonna go in the room for a second. You go in, that's what I started to do. I go in the room, I let them know, mommy's a little bit tired right now, I'm just gonna take a break. Sometimes I'll light a candle, sometimes I'll just lay back and watch something, sometimes I'll just lay there like. <sighs> At my age right now, all I want is peace. Peace and quiet. I can't believe I'm saying this right now, I'm gonna say it again. Peace and quiet. I've never cherished quietness in all of my years. I was always into this, that loud scene, out being with people, being a life at a party, just doing this, ripping and running, and all I wanna do is just sit back, listen to the water, sit outside, listen to the birds chirp, read a book, and just unwind, literally, or just take a bath. And you know, these are the things we take for granted when we don't have children, you know what I mean? We had all that time and we didn't, we didn't really appreciate it. It was just like, this is the norm for us. But when you have children, that take up all of your time, you forget to do the most important things for yourself. So do I regret my kids? Absolutely not. I would be lying to you if I said that I never thought about that because we're human and we're all entitled to our feelings and we all go through different phases and although we have children, that doesn't mean your life needs to stop. So if you're somebody who feels like I'm in the house all the time, I'm a single mother, or even if you have somebody there with you but they don't do much and this is all heavy on my plate, it's time to change it for today. You need to get up. You can pause this video if you need to, or you can wait till after the video. You need to get up and you need to go into that mirror and you need to remember who you were. You need to remember who you were before you had these kids. You need to remember the things that you used to do before you had your kids. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if it was dancing. Doesn't matter if it was cooking. Doesn't matter if it was doing your hair, your makeup, whatever it was that you used to love doing before you had your kids. Try to incorporate that in your day, even if it's for 10 minutes. As for myself, I used to dance. Always wanted to be on the big screen. Hip hop was my thing. When I had my child, that was pushed to the side. That was my passion, that was my dream. It's still something I breathe, I dream it, I live it. And I had to realize that, you know what? 
this is the path that I chose right now. It doesn't mean that I can't dance anymore. Maybe not right now. So what I decided to do is when I'm in the house, sometimes I'll just turn my music on. You know when you're just in the house and you turn your music on and you're trying to zone out? I turn the music on, I feel it, and I just dance inside. Yes, it's different. No, I'm not in the studio. No, I'm not performing in front of people, but that's what I love. So dance is my passion. I can dance anywhere. It doesn't matter who's there with me or where I'm at, what location I'm at. It just feels good to do the things that make me smile. Try to find things throughout the day. Wait till your baby's take a nap and do something that you want to do for yourself. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels like this, but I, I'm, I'm always feeling guilty when I want to buy something for myself. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've actually went to the store and really like went crazy on me, on self. Whenever I go into the store, no matter what it is, I can be in a mall with thousands of stores that is all for me. And I walk past Children's Place or Macy's or Gymboree or Carter's and I'm like, oh, well, I got to get this for the kids. And a lot of times my husband has to remind me like, babe, they have enough stuff. Today's about you. And it's like, I feel so guilty when I want to buy a pair of jeans or a pair of sneakers that I know is over $100. And I'm like, but the kids. And it's like, again, I have to worry about myself too. It's not just about the kids, it's about me as well. So don't forget your importance. Don't forget your value. Don't forget how, how loved you are. Our kids love us, our kids need us. So if we are not loving ourselves back, we're no good to our kids. It's not easy when you have when you have children. It, it really isn't, but you have to kind of find a balance and you kind of have to have a routine for yourself. I'm learning now that I can't do everything in a day. So if I know that my daughter needs this dress for this concert next week, and I gotta go pay rent. Other daughter needs something and the baby needs diapers. I have to think about, well, what's more important for today? What can wait until tomorrow or maybe the next day? What is important today? I put a lot of pressure on myself often because I feel like I need to accomplish everything in one day. And then that's what makes me go into feeling overtired overworked, stressed out, and getting irritated, not showing the best me because I'm overwhelming myself. There's always a way around all of this madness that we live in, okay? You need to take things at your pace, do things that work well for you. Make sure to take time for you. Don't feel guilty and don't feel bad when you start thinking about, you know, oh, well, I wish I didn't have these kids, or I wish I could have fun. You can still do it. You may not be able to do it as frequently as you like to, but there's always a way. If there's a will, there's a way, okay? And although our kids require a lot of our time, we need to make time for ourselves. It should never be a problem to find time for yourself. And again, that was one of my biggest issues be with juggling being a mother of three children, trying to find time for myself. Not every day do I get that. Not every day am I like, okay, well, the kids are good. Let me go out and get my nails and my feet done. I got to mark that down on the calendar, okay? I have to see what the day consists of, how my kids is gonna wake up before I decide to dip off, even though my husband definitely holds it down. And you know, there's been times where I had to bring them with me into the nail salon, but you know what? They're very well behaved. They sit in the waiting room. I can still see them. And mommy is mommy time. They understand now. They're older, so they understand, well, mommy needs her time too. The same way I take you guys out shopping, buy you ice cream, buy you dolls, buy you toys, and you feel good, mommy needs to get that reciprocated back as well. So all you gotta do is just don't put so much pressure on yourself. You're doing a good job. You're doing the best that you can. That's what I've had to learn. I'm doing the best that I can. And even though my kids are young right now and they may not understand all of the struggles that come with being a parent and being an adult, I know that it will be rewarded later as they grow up and mature into adults because I'm instilling all of the love and all of the morals into them now as children. We need to start loving ourselves a little bit more and stop feeling sorry for ourselves. Stop having excuses as why we don't do things because a lot of times it's so easy to say, oh, well, I don't feel like today I have a headache. I don't feel like getting out the bed today. I'm not doing nothing today. Or I was supposed to go do this, but you know what? I'm aggravated. Something just popped up and now my whole day is ruined. It's like all or nothing. I had that attitude. It's either if it doesn't go right for me today, then I don't want to do it at all. If my kids aggravate me today or one of them is just doing this and that, okay, then the whole day is ruined and now my mood is just blown and I can't do the videos that I want to do and I don't want to work out today. I don't want to do my hair. It's just all excuses. We have to stay focused and we have to put our eyes on the prize and try to keep that positive mindset. Not every day is going to be a good day. Everybody is going to be happy. Sometimes the kids are sick. Sometimes you just have a tough day. Sometimes you just get bad news. But 
Don't stop living your life because you have kids. Don't let situations of parenting destroy your mindset for the day. Whatever it is you wanna do for yourself, you need to do it. Find time to do it. Write it down. At this time, I want to do this for myself. At this time, I'm going to do this with my kids. I have a dry eraser board. I work well when I have routine, and I work well when I see things visually. So try to just try to do that. Try to just download, you know, apps that are self-reflecting, positive quotations of the day, play nice music, and just find time to unwind. I want to put out there, do not feel bad that you need to walk away from your kids sometimes. Sometimes your kids will test you. Sometimes they know how to work your nerves. Sometimes my kids try to really push my buttons, not in an acting out way, but trying to get me and swindle me to buy them things because they know I'm going to always say yes. Yeah. Don't feel bad if your child is having a tantrum um, and you just can't take it okay the crying is just piercing it's going through you and you like i can't take this walk away okay you need to walk away i had to learn that i used to feel bad when i would walk away or i would start freaking out i'd rather walk away and bug out by myself rather than start freaking out take my anger out on them get frustrated and just start yelling i don't believe in all of that mental and, and physical abuse to children you just sometimes you gotta walk away you have to do the things that keep you sane that's what i'm going to keep stressing our sanity is the most important thing right now. It will always be the most important thing, so do not feel terrible about it. You step outside to get some fresh air on the porch as long as the kids are safe inside, whatever the case may be, or you need to have a, a neighbor come over to hold you down real quick, your mom, your sister, your cousin, your friend, do what you gotta do just to, just to you know, unwind for a second. They need us, but we need us. You need you. I need me. And I'm here to tell you not by yourself because it's crazy. Motherhood is crazy. I hope this video helps you. I hope you're feeling much better. You gotta have patience. It takes a lot of sacrifice, a lot of love, a lot of time, all of that good stuff. But don't forget about you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these type of videos, the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. And make sure you hit that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, I noticed that my eyebrows look dark today. If you guys don't know, your girl got her eyebrows microbladed, so make sure that you check that video out. I'll put that down in the description. Make sure that you follow my daughter's YouTube channel. They just started their channel, so if you have any kids around their age, I think that would be great if you send them over there and hit that subscribe. And also, make sure to follow my couple's channel with my husband at Eddie and Michelle. All of that information will be down in the description. And if you want to keep up with me on all my other social medias, all of that will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.